An ancient chapel in Torre Girona's heart houses the beginning of a new era of computing in Spain. Here we find Mer Nostrum Ona, the Barcelona Supercomputing Center's quantum computer. The first in Spain developed with 100% European technology, and it is part of the Quantum Spain project. However, this computer is quite different from the ones we use in our daily lives. To understand why, let's start from the beginning. A bit is the basic unit of information that classic computers use. Its value can only be zero or one. In quantum computers, the unit of information is called qubit. A qubit can be zero, one, or a combination of both. Thanks to these quantum properties, qubits are able to calculate and perform operations that would take much longer on classical computers. This is possible thanks to microwave pulses that control the changes of state of these qubits. Exactly, just like the microwave that you have at home. The result will be translated into bits so that it can be interpreted by classic computers. But before that, two more things are needed. The quantum algorithm's instructions and extreme cold temperatures. Inside the computer, qubits are in the quantum processor. This, along with the rest of components, work together to control them and ensure the best conditions for them to function properly. At the same time, the processor is located at the bottom of the cryostat, a refrigerator-like device that uses liquefied helium as a coolant. Here, temperatures reach close to absolute zero, minus 273 degrees Celsius, one of the coldest points in the universe, which makes the cryostat's temperature even lower than that of space. A cylindrical anti-radiation shield insulates and protects the quantum chip from the outside. Only helium and microwave signals can access it. These signals are generated in the control rack, which houses the server where researchers and users send instructions. The helium control system ensures that it circulates to cool the entire computer while creating a vacuum inside. Compressors recirculate it through all the pipes of the cryostat, and a liquid nitrogen tank cleans the valves. In the meantime, conventional computers control the cooling and inform us about different variables of the quantum computer, such as pressure or temperature. These are all pieces of a sophisticated revolution, quantum computing a vivid example of the world's most advanced technology, capable of changing our present and our future.